Welcome to a new video from the Yadda's trading and analytics platform, offering a powerful set of tools for analyzing exchange volumes. For horizontal volume analysis, you can use Fixed Profile Cluster Chart in Profile View The TPO and Profile Drawing Object And the Top Tier Market Profile and TPO Indicator, which, as we will show later on, helps you find key support and resistance levels that may not be obvious to other market participants. Make sure to watch the video till the end to learn how to set up the indicator and how to use it for making trading decisions. To add the market profile and TPO indicator to an existing chart, use the indicator manager, select the indicator from the list, and on the right, you will see a list of customizable options. At the bottom, there is a link with up-to-date descriptions for each setting. After that, click add and then OK. This indicator works with any asset and time frame. It shows trading activity at each price level over a given period as a histogram. Bulges in the profile indicate high trading activity. A thin profile shows low activity. For example, we have the market profile indicator set to a daily period on Apple stock. The number 233,641 on the profile shows how many shares were bought and sold at the price of 225.50 during the day. If you want to check the trading volume at several adjacent price levels, you can use the scale setting, which adjusts the price intervals on the chart or the number of ticks each price level represents. To get a sense of the powerful features offered by the market profile and TPO indicator, let's walk through the settings, which are divided into four categories. Common settings, profile settings, TPO settings, and additional settings. Common settings section. The first and very important setting is choosing the mode. There are four options available. Profile mode, TPO mode, which stands for time price opportunity, combined profile and TPO mode, overlay profile over TPO mode. This raises the question, what is the difference between profile and TPO? In a nutshell, the differences are as follows. Profile focuses primarily on the distribution of trading volume across different price levels over a specific period of time. TPO on the other hand, shows how long the price stayed at certain levels during that period. Therefore, the levels of maximum activity in profile and TPO usually don't match. Profile is visualized as a histogram, while TPO is displayed using letters or color blocks. What is the difference between profile and TPO? If you want to gain a deep, fundamental understanding of the topic, you will need to study some specialized theory, starting with the books by the concepts creator, Peter Steidelmeier, and another classic author, James Dalton. You can see those books on the screen. On the practical side, Addis will be an invaluable tool, so don't forget to check the video description and download the platform using the link. Now, let's return to the indicator settings. The second parameter is the period, where you can choose standard options like hourly or daily, or set a custom period by selecting custom. You can also specify a time range by setting the from and to period. Additionally, you can set the indicator to display over or under the candles. Configure key lines to extend until the first touch. Set a background color for the profile area. Now, let's go over the profile settings section. To make sure any changes you make to the profile settings are applied and visible on the chart, the profile must be selected in one of the four modes we talked about earlier. In the type setting, you choose from five different profile types, which determine what information is displayed at each price level. Trading volume. Number of trades. Delta, shown as a two-sided histogram. Delta, shown as a two-color histogram. Bid and ask histogram. You can also flip the profile from right to left and adjust the proportions either automatically or manually. In the profile colors section, you can customize the colors and transparency levels for the profile visualization. In the profile maximum level section, you can set how the level with the highest trading volume, the most trades or another key metric based on the selected profile type is displayed. For the maximum level, also referred to as the point of control, you can customize the color, label, display of the actual value, and extend it to the first price touch. In the profile value area section, you can adjust how the value area is displayed. The value area typically represents the price range where 70% of all trades occurred. You can also change the default threshold of 70% to 80% in the platform's general settings. Like with the maximum level, in this section, you can adjust the colors, labels, and set it to extend until the first price touch. Now let's move on to the TPO general settings section. 
To make sure any changes you make are visible, TPO needs to be selected in one of the four available modes. In the general settings, the TPO chars parameter determines the sequence of letters used for display. You can also adjust the number of ticks per price level, colors and other visualization options for TPO on the chart. For example, whether TPO is displayed as letters only, blocks only, or a combination of both. TPO sub-periods. Here, you can specify how much time should pass before a new letter or differently colored block appears. Split sub-periods. This setting controls whether each letter or block is displayed in its own column. You can also use color to highlight where the new block starts. In the TPO point of control section, you can configure the POC extend the line to the first price touch, adjust colors, and customize labels. In the TPO value areas section, you can adjust the value area settings, just as we discussed earlier. In the TPO single prints section, you can customize the settings for single prints, which are the smallest possible TPO elements, consisting of just one letter or block. You can customize how they are displayed on the chart. Now, let's move on to the additional settings section. In the initial balance block, you can customize how this element is displayed. Typically, it shows the range for the first 30 or 60 minutes of the trading day. In the candle bar block, you can enable and adjust the display of a candle or bar to the left of the profile. This candle is created using the open, high, low, and close prices for each profile. Next, in the grid block, you can enable and set the colors for an extra grid, if that makes it easier for you to read the profile. In the cumulative trades block, you can configure the display of cumulative values for each profile. By default, they are shown in the bottom right. In the filter block, you can highlight specific sections of the profile that match your from and to criteria using a selected color. In the hotkey block, you will find settings for hotkeys that enable you to split the profile into multiple parts and merge them back. This is very handy when you want to adjust the level of detail without needing to access the settings and change the period. If a key isn't working, double check if it's conflicting with any existing hotkeys. If you want to try out the market profile and TPO indicator and play around with its settings, you can download Addis for free. Let's quickly walk through how to use it in practice for making trading decisions. The main idea is that market profile and TPO helps with a few key things. Firstly, it gives insight into shifts in the balance of supply and demand. These balances show up as bulges on the profile, while the shifts are those trending sections where the price moves in search of a new equilibrium between buyers and sellers. This helps traders get a better understanding of the structure behind price movements. Secondly, traders use market profile to identify key support and resistance levels. These include the peaks of the bulges or points of control, the bottoms of the bulges, which indicate one side's dominance, sharp drops on the profile, which often align with the boundaries of value areas. We hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.